Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And I know it's getting close to Thanksgiving and Christmas. And um, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do my, my Thanksgiving dishes. I'm just going to have to um, take them for future years, I guess, the day before and, and all that. I've already got the one on here on Brian and the turkey. And I, I just don't have the money to buy the food and cook it before Thanksgiving so y'all can see what I do. So it'll just be what I cook for, for Thanksgiving will be what I tape you. And um, this I'm just fixing now. I've had this is a Hormel Black Label Ham and this is a canned ham, of course. And <laughs> this has been in my refrigerator for about a year and a half now. But believe it or not, the canned ham is one of the best things that you can prep if, as long as you've got um, your refrigerator or whatever because this canned ham is still good to 2015. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top off and not cut myself because these things really scare me. And then I'm just going to dump this ham, whoop, and it fell right out, right in this pan. And then I'm going to, um, this is just, this makes the canned ham taste really good. So I'm going to use brown sugar, and I'm going to put brown sugar all on top of it, and all, because I want that, um, maple seasoning or whatever you want to say on in the ham so I'm going to put the brown sugar all on top of it and around it as much as I can get it on here and you can use your judgment on how much you want to use and then I'm going to take a can of pineapple slices and I'm going to put those on top and put them all around on the top and then I'm going to lay them around the sides and then I'm going to take this pineapple juice and I'm just going to pour it over this because I want this ham to soak up all the, the brown sugar and the pineapple juice. And now I've already got my oven preheating to 325. And I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil. And I'm going to cook this um, for about an hour and a half. And when this gets done, like I said, I'm just going to cover it up and I'm going to make sure that, that this is covered really good. Because even with the aluminum foil on there, the ham still tends to brown. So I've got to make sure that it's all covered really well and go along the edges. If you've got a roasting ham with the lid, that's fine. I just didn't want to get out my big, big one that I use for spiral hams for this canned ham. So, but make sure that it's your aluminum foil is on there really, really well. And then put this in the oven and cook it for about an hour and a half. And when this gets done, I'll bring you back. Okay, I just wanted to bring you back and show you that um, after an hour and a half of cooking, I took the aluminum foil off and then I put it in the oven and I've let it brown for about 15 minutes. So um, I've cut the oven off now and I'm just going to let it rest here and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, I wanted to bring you back and show you that um, here's the ham and you can see um, 
this is just canned ham. A lot of people just, if they're just having a um, small Thanksgiving and they um, want to fix a turkey and a ham, they'll use this. But I have a, a pretty big crowd that I have to feed, so I get a spiral ham, and I cook it exactly like I do this. Um, I put the brown sugar on it and the pineapples, and um, so here it is, and I'll take a bite of it. Well, mm. it's not near as good as a spiral ham or regular ham, but for canned ham, it's good. It's good on sandwiches, and it's good with mashed potatoes and just anything that you want to eat it with. But I hope you like this recipe. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you have a wonderful day. Bye.